So hi and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the newer 80 centimeter carbon fiber camera slide rail, which is going to be replacing my original one here, which is a Remoto. Um, this is just a normal kind of rail track one here that slides up and down. It's been good. Uh, it's about 60 centimeter, um, but it's time to upgrade for ball bearing version. So you see if we can get a bit of a smoother slide. So today we're going to unbox that and get on with it. Ta-da! So as you know on Tech Tuesdays, we take a look at gaming products generally for hardware from keyboards to mice, some technologies and some camera gear if I'm using it for filming and today I'm going to be showing you this camera rail. So this retails at about £80 on Amazon in the UK. The entire package comes in at about 2.1 kilos but it doesn't weigh that much. If you don't know what a camera slider is, it's one that allows you to run the side shots from left to right or up and down forwards, which is slightly better smoother picture, so like a glide across or up and down, you can do it with tripods. They're a little bit more tricky. So you've got the pack here showing you specification. You get a little manual. I will show you some slide effects here and show what it looks like. If you want to see what it compares to, check out my other videos recently. And I'm using the original slider that I just showed you there. So it comes in a nice carry case here. Velcro straps. Get a converter here for a almost like a quarter inch um, screw top to fit into your camera bay. This feels nice. So you can see it's 80 centimeter carbon fiber rail. It's slightly chunkier than the last one. A nice carry case. So the legs themselves look like they rotate around here. Like at any angle you like. You might wear them out. A bit easier to set and they screw in. So far, I like the way it sets. Uh, it has got a little level here. You can tell for what surface you're on. You might generally use your camera rail. And as you can see, this one uses these ball bearing rails here to slide up and down, which should make it a bit of a smoother rail slide. The other one itself used to stick a bit more. The difference in price, the Fomoto one was around 30 UK pounds again off Amazon. So, you know, it's not a bad rail for what it was. It's done me, it served me well. I fancy to try and get a bit of a better slide because I found it sometimes it was just slightly sticking on the rails. See here, this one's slightly off, but you could find adjust these. Turn around a little bit. So setup wise, yeah, I'm impressed. It's quick setup. It's pretty sturdy once you get it down. These anodized red tips, it's quite nice. Get your little locker here for the rail slide. Oh, I just feel nicer. Feels um, it feels like you're less friction. So the other one it used to like judder a little bit, so you used to put a bit of wax on the rail. I did to make it run a bit smoother. But this one, as you can see, just sits a little bit there, but it glides pretty smoothly. You attach the the rail strength from this little anodized red stick here. I feel a little bit. Pressure here feels a bit like it sticks in between that rail. Is that clamp or not? And a few people said on the middle, and I can't get too bent here, but they were saying that in the middle it would trap itself because of the weight, but this one's fine. So let me uh, let me show you some rail slides. So let me know in the comments what you think about the rail slides, whether you think it's smoother or not. I've done some comparisons with the Fomoto one to give you an idea of the same shot and just show what the difference is. See some of the mounting points here underneath as well. You've got all the adapters that you can set and there's also some on the ends of it here, you can probably tell. 
you've got plenty of options and on the top rail themselves you've got some different ones to allow to fit to different camera mounts overall the rail sliding here feels very smooth the product itself very sturdy and have no issues here whatsoever get some nice camera shots do you advise getting ball bearing over the traditional sliders because they are a bit more smoother these can go from you know 80 quid like this one is a budget one really uh, up to three four hundred pounds So as always, hope you like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what else you want me to show you. And I'll catch you again later. See you later. Bye-bye.